Good morning, everyone. Let us start with St. Anne's hymn. To pray at your altar, in faith we draw near. Led here by your daughter, Christ's mother so dear. Oh, good Saint Anne, we call on your name, your praises loud, your children proclaim. Saint Anne is in heaven and joins us in prayer. To praise the Lord's blessings and love that we share. O oh, good Saint Anne, we call on your name, your praises loud, your children proclaim. Let us join in the pilgrim's prayer to good Saint Anne, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. O glorious Saint Anne, you are filled with compassion for those who invoke you, and with love for those who suffer. Heavily burdened with the weight of my troubles, I cast myself at your feet and humbly beg of you to take the present intention which I recommend to your special care. Please recommend it to your daughter, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and place it before the throne of Jesus so that he may bring it to a happy issue. Continue to intercede for me until my request is granted. But above all, obtain for me the grace one day to see my God face to face and with you and Mary and all the saints, to praise and bless him for all eternity. Amen. Let us pray the chaplet of St. Anne. You may kneel or sit. In honor of Jesus, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven.
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Saint Anne, in honor of Mary, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Saint Anne, in honor of Saint Anne, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Saint Anne, the litany of Saint Anne, for our daily bread, for comfortable shelter, for joyous companionship, in our temptations, in our troubles, in our sufferings, in our good deeds, in our weaknesses, in the hours of danger, in the hour of death, for our families, for our friends, for our enemies, for our church, for those who have no one to pray for them. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Good Saint Anne, your grandson Jesus accepted suffering to share with us the virtue of patience in human illness. May your kind intercession offer healing for our sick brothers and sisters, comfort for all who suffer, courage for all who are afraid, hope for all who are afflicted, and trust that they have been chosen to be saints and are joined to Jesus in his suffering for the salvation of the world. Amen. Let us pray a prayer for a Christian family. Beloved Grandmother of Jesus, Beloved Mother of Mary, the Queen of Heaven, Good Saint Anne, please take our family and all our dear ones under your special care. Obtain for us the virtues you instilled in the heart of Mary, destined to be God's mother. With your holy husband, St. Joachim, you have become wonderful models for Christian parents. Help us to imitate your example in our families. Help us to make our lives reflect the peace and joy, the serenity and holiness, which will show the world that we believe that God lives among us. Grant us to live in God's kingdom on earth as to merit a place in his eternal kingdom where family will be united, never to be parted again. Amen. Please stand for Mass. So we continue our prayers, acknowledging our faults, our need for God. And so we begin asking the good Lord to forgive us our faults and our failures. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. 
Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, someone may say, how are the dead raised? With what kind of body will they come back? You fool, what you saw is not brought to life unless it dies. And what you saw is not the body that is to be, but a bare kernel of wheat perhaps, or of some other kind. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown incorruptible. It is raised incorruptible. It is sown dishonorable. It is raised glorious. It is sown weak. It is raised powerful. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. If there is a natural body, there is also a spiritual one. So too is writ- it is written. The first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam, a life-giving spirit. But the spiritual was not first, rather the natural and then the spiritual. The first man was from the earth, earthly. The second man from heaven. As was the earthly one, so also are the earthly. And as is the heavenly one, so also are the heavenly. Just as we have borne the image of the earthly one, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly one. The word of the Lord. The psalm responds, I will walk in the presence of God in the light of the living. I will walk in the presence of God in the light of the living. Now I know that God is with me, in God in whose promise I glory, in God I trust without fear. What can flesh do against me? I will walk in the presence of God in the light of the living. I am bound, O God, by vows to you. Your thank offerings I will fulfill, for you have rescued me from death, my feet too from stumbling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living. I will walk in the presence of God in the light of the living. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When a large crowd gathered with people from one town after another journeying to Jesus, he spoke in a parable. A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path and was trampled, and the birds of the sky ate it up. 
Some seed fell on rocky ground, and when it grew, it withered for lack of moisture. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew with it and choked it. And some seed fell on good soil, and when it grew, it produced fruit a hundredfold. After saying this, he called out, whoever has ears to hear ought to hear. When his disciples asked him what the meaning of this parable might be, he answered, knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of God has been granted to you, but to the rest. They are made known through parables so that they may look but not see and hear but not understand. This is the meaning of the parable. The seed is the word of God. Those on the path are the ones who have heard. But the devil comes and takes away from the word from their hearts that they may not believe and be saved. Those on rocky ground are the ones who, when they hear, receive the word with joy. But they have no root. They believe only for a time and fall away in time of temptation. As for the seed that fell among thorns, they are the ones who have heard. But as they go along, they are choked by the anxieties and riches and pleasures of life, and they fail to produce mature fruit. But as for the seed that fell on rich soil, they are the ones who, when they have heard the word, embrace it with a generous and good heart and bear fruit through perseverance. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, in today's first reading, St. Paul was trying to address the question that some people had about resurrection. Some people were wondering how God would restore a body that is corrupted in the grave or that has been reduced to ashes or maybe that's been lost at sea. To unbelievers, the resurrection of the body is an absurd uh, impossibility. But to those who believe, we believe that after we die, yes, our soul will go to God. And at the end of time, God will also raise up our bodies and reunite our bodies with our souls. And what our risen body will be like, well, it's beyond our power to imagine. As St. Paul tried to explain the resurrection of the body to his audience, he used the seed, right? So when the seed, when it dies, when it grows and flowers, it becomes more than that seed. So too will we be after we die, as St. Paul puts it. Our bodies are sown corruptible. It is raised incorruptible. It is sown dishonorable. It is raised glorious. It is sown weak. It is raised powerful. It is sown a natural body, but it is raised a spiritual body. If there is a natural body, then there's also a spiritual one. And in today's gospel, Jesus also spoke about seeds that are planted. And whether they bear fruit or not depends on the listener. Do we welcome the word of God in our hearts and allow it to shape our thoughts and our actions so that we can bear good and abundant fruit? Some people believe only what their minds can understand. But God is so much greater than the human mind. So it is foolish to confine God's power only to our limited imagination. It is not foolish to believe in the resurrection of the body, not only of our souls, but our bodies and our souls one day. Amen. Let's continue bringing our petitions to the Lord.
trusting in God's love and providence, we present our petitions. We pray for every human person, born and unborn, who is impacted by environmental pollution. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the poorest and most vulnerable among us who are dispor disproportionately and unjustly harmed by ecological damage, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that our elected officials be blessed with the courage to protect God's good gifts of creation, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that business leaders be blessed with the wisdom to account for the ecological cost of economic choices, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that our parish of St. Anne receive the grace to cultivate and care for creation as God calls us. We pray. And this Mass is being offered for the members of the confraternity of St. Anne's living in the seas and so for your intentions as well. For all of our intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, into your loving hands, we commend our cares, worries, and fears, but confident you'll hear and will answer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray then, my sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of the Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, 
the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, this life-giving bread and this saving chalice, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember the deceased members of the Confraternity of St. Anne's, all who have died, all who have suffered, and all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With one heart and one faith together we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy I will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God,
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. communion and fun. Blessed is the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Eternal Father. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. True Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. So we ask the intercession of the grandmother of Jesus, good Saint Anne. 
he hear then the prayers of the children who come before you this day. Intercede for us. Bring our prayers to your grandson. Bless them and bless your families and friends that all may love your son and may serve him. And may the blessings of Almighty God come upon each one of you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good St. Anne. Good, Good St. Anne. Good St. Anne. Good we conclude with our St. Anne's hymn. To all those who